welcome back to another YouTube video. So today, today I wanted to do a what's in my bag CNA edition slash what you will need if you are going to CNA school. So just know it has been a while. I went to CNA school back in 2018, 2018 and I graduated in 2019. So it was, it's been a while, but um, I have, I do have some things still and some helpful tips to help you be successful in CNA school. So I'll start off with those. So one of the things that I would recommend getting and investing in is a laptop. So I just have the Mac MacBook Pro. Um, you don't have to get the MacBook Pro. You can get any kind of laptop, any kind that will work and will let you um, upload and submit your work and open documents that your professor sends you. Um, but now I have an iPad. I think iPads are really helpful because for example, like if your professor uses Canvas, if your ins um, institution uses Canvas, you can go in and then just like download the documents onto like Good Notes or something, and then you can just like write on them as lecture goes. It's really helpful, and for nursing school, I think it's a it's a good investment. Here's your sign to get an iPad if you've been wanting one. For human anatomy, I have two things. I still have these. I use these um, throughout college and um, CNA school. So I got this book. It's a human anatomy coloring book. Um, I got it off of Amazon. You can get this off of Amazon if you are interested. I remember in CNA school, I did have to learn all of the systems and as well, we had to learn like all uh, medical terminology. So those were like the two things that my institution did, my program. I don't know if all programs work the same, but here is a picture. Yeah, so it's just really helpful because, for example, my teacher back in, um, for my CNA class, she would print out handouts and, like, she'd have us color it, like, during class. It was really helpful. Um, she was an awesome teacher. I really learned so much from her. Not every professor is like that and will take the time to print out, um, like, handouts like these. And I feel like this is really helpful, especially if you're more of, like, a, a visual learner. This will help you memorize things very easily. So I would I would recommend investing in this. I don't think it's that expensive, but the second thing um, I also got, I got this actually for college, but it could really help you as well for CNA school because it has like the skeletal system, the muscular system, the cardiac system, urinary system, and you're gonna learn about all of those things. And it has it labeled out for you like this, you can see. And then you can just pull it out and just they're basically like flashcards here let me pull out one so for example this one it's asking you like what kind of muscles these are and then you can turn it around and then it'll show you and you can put like your own little notes in it and stuff so i think this is really helpful yes i recommend these some all over the place you could get some at etsy you could get some at amazon and there's different kinds on amazon it's, there's not just this one um but yeah i got that also off of amazon and i would recommend getting a book stand. So I didn't have one of these back in CNA school, but I find it really helpful because especially during college, like we'd have like those huge books that we'd have to read from. I think it's helpful to have something like standing like up right in front of you so you can just look up and look at it instead of having it like flat on the ground, you know? I think it's just more easier that way. In CNA school, I did have to learn a bunch of uh, medical terminology and there's some books out there as well that you can purchase, but I just use flashcards. That's what I did. So I have this like little flashcard holder that I used. You see, it holds a bunch. It's empty now because I emptied it for nursing school, but yeah, you can organize like by week or by alphabet, however you would like. So I would recommend staying organized, that's key. And of course, uh, staying organized is really important in CNA school. Um, so just get any kind of planner that you'd like. I got this one at Marshall's actually. It's really cute, it's really simple. See, I love to, I love to color code all my things. I think, cause I'm a visual learner. So writing things in color just helps and it just stands out and you can just like remember, oh, red means um, health assessment. Red means, um, oh, I have a human anatomy test. Get a binder of any size. This is actually just a one inch, but for CNA school, you're going to get you're gonna get a lot of homework. And if you don't, that's awesome. I did, and I would have, and I would just organize it by like systems and everything that like she would hand out. So I think it's really helpful even to organize your own notes. So staying organized is key, guys, in any kind of school. 
pencil bag. I have just a bunch of pens, highlighters, and um, some flashcards in here as well, and some sticky notes. It's kind of tight in here, but just give you guys an overview. Those are all the things that I think will be very beneficial and helpful to you during CNA school. And anybody else who is a CNA, um, put down in the comments what helped you, what you used, and other helpful tips that could help anybody else that's interested in CNA school. Okay, and then the next thing, um, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my backpack as a CNA. Um, and then as well, I'm gonna show you other things that could help you be like a successful CNA, have a successful shift, especially if you are um, new to the healthcare field. Good shoes and socks will make your shift way better. So what I have learned is compression socks will save your life. It'll take off the pressure off your foot and like let blood flow all throughout your legs. Standing for 12 hours, you know, going back and forth, you're gonna, you're gonna get tired, you're bound to get tired. Um, so have another pair of compression socks. And then I would say if you don't like compression socks, I would say like get like really thick socks. Um, that's what I use most of the time, like these shorter, thicker socks. I don't know why, but the thinner socks just don't help me. But I find that the thicker socks, I can last a lot longer in them. My first year and during clinicals being a CNA, I would just use like regular tennis shoes. These are just Adidas. They last me a really long time. I don't like using the clogs. I'll put a picture, but I don't like using those ones. Those ones are too stiff. I don't know how people can wear those for 12 hours, but you know, everyone's different. But I also have been starting to use Crocs. I have these blue ones and then I have some purple ones that I use all the time. I love using my Crocs. Um, but these have holes in it, but usually most of the time, you don't really get wet, you know? Helpful tip that I learned when I first started off as a CNA was I used a glove, like I would get a large glove and I'd put it over my shoe, like right here. So it would have like a protective barrier on top of the shoe. So that's a helpful tip for when you're giving a shower or anything. Um, this can also be used like for CNA school is blue light glasses. <laughs> will help you and protect your vision because you are looking at the screens nonstop and um, if your eyes are sensitive, it'll, it'll help. So I recommend getting some blue light reading glasses. I got those off of Amazon as well. Back then, before like COVID, like you have, you didn't have to wear a mask. You didn't have to wear goggles or anything. Only when like someone would be like on isolation for like C diff or something. Now, ever since COVID, I will always wear these now. Like these are my style goals. Always, always. Um, especially after COVID now, you had to always wear goggles when you went to work and a mask always. So I just kind of got used to it. And honestly, I prefer wearing goggles when I go to work because, you know, any kind of like fluid, even if the person isn't sick, can still like touch your face, touch your body, you know, and you want to protect yourself, you know, protect yourself. Clips. I love clips. I think I use clips more than I use hair ties. Um, I honestly have got these everywhere. Probably Walmart, Target, Amazon. You can get any kinds of clips anywhere. Um, I'm wearing a clip right now. Yeah, I love wearing clips. I think they're just so easy um, to use and super cute. Definitely recommend buying like little badge reel like um, Sharpies or like pens and stuff. Because if you ever have to write down something like the date when you gave someone like their new urinal or something, um, you want to mark down like when it was given. Also perfume, I don't know. I like putting on perfume, but I don't put too much, obviously. I don't want to hurt anybody, but the Bath & Body Works perfume, I, <laughs> it doesn't like really stick, so it goes away after a while. But you know, smelling caca all day, you kind of want to smell something better than that. Scrubs. Um, so all these scrubs are from Scrubstar, I believe, and I got these all from Walmart. These are all my favorite go-to scrubs. My absolute favorite, they have lasted me like almost two years now they are the best especially if like you're looking to like um buy cheaper scrubs or like 18 dollars versus if you were to go to like an actual scrub store like the scrubs like Grey's anatomy for example would be like 40 dollars each so if you want to spend that money you can um i just i didn't really feel like spending 40 dollars especially like starting off as a new cna because i wasn't sure if i was gonna make it so i just bought the cheapest i just bought the cheapest one and um i've stuck with them pick a jacket a sweater anything that you don't really care to get dirty or to take to facilities um because you know your things are sometimes going to be like on the ground or 
they're gonna be misplaced and stuff and you don't want anything valuable or like something really special to go missing or to be on the ground so i just use this jacket um i use it all the time whenever i go to work um because i can just fit it in my backpack um and then if it falls on the ground or something i don't really care i also have an apple watch because you're gonna want to be able to tell the time it I, I just find it so much more helpful when you know what time it is for your um, cna school you're gonna need a watch uh, you can get any kind of watch like uh, walmart or something you don't have to get an apple watch um i think this was a gift now i'm just gonna show you guys what's in my backpack this is my cna backpack this here from my two different facilities that i work at then i have just like a little hand sanitizer right here um and then it just has two pockets it has a little pocket and a big pocket my small one is a hairbrush because my hair gets tangled sometimes um, I have like this little bag full of goodies. I have more hand sanitizers. I have lotions. I have some tampons and some small little pads, eye drops, a hair tie, and a toothbrush. After 12 hours and after eating especially, I like to brush my teeth. I also have two packets of gum. I love gum. Another hair tie. Masks in here as well. So I have this pink one and then I have like these other ones that I got. I got these all off of Amazon. I love Amazon. Amazon's the best. I like to walk in sometimes with masks on just because I don't want to wait until like I get to the unit that I'm working on without a mask. And then I actually have just some note cards in here because so like as an agency CNA, like some facilities don't have that many supplies just like laying around, you know? Um, so sometimes I struggle to find them and I just find it easier this way so I can write down like important information when I get report and I can just stick it in my pocket. I have three pens. Oh my gosh. Oh my, okay, so I have a story time to tell you guys. I actually worked at this one facility that I had never worked at and there was this patient that did like a drawing and he was like, do you like this? Look. He like signed it too, so cute. He was like, do you like this? And I was like, yeah, it's super pretty. He's like, here, you can have it. And I was like, oh, thank you. He didn't remember what he said, but I was just like in awe of like him giving me his little drawing. And I just, <laughs> and I still have it in here. I'm just gonna keep it in here, honestly, because being a CNA can be so rewarding sometimes. And, you know, I love, I love doing what I do. I love taking care of people and making sure that they have everything that they need, you know, helping them out in times of need and, you know, taking good care of them because it's sad to see that like, not everyone's the same, man. Like not everybody truly cares about the health and like the well-being of, you know, of some residents and stuff. I just like to be there for them and care for them. So I really do enjoy doing what I do. Um, and so in the big pocket, there's not much actually. It's just like my little lunch bag that I use. Usually what I do is I shove my like, <laughs> I shove my jacket in there because I don't like leaving my stuff just laying around because everything goes on the floor, dude. Literally, as an agency, like not, you don't always have like a designated area to put your things. So usually floor it is. So that's why, I mean, my backpack always goes on the floor. So, I mean, I don't mind that at all. <laughs> as a cna like we all get super super busy but it's super important to make sure that we are okay we got to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves so we're able to take care of other people you know how are you going to take care of someone if you're dehydrated and almost about to pass out no you know make sure to drink your water of course or stay hydrated guys because <laughs> i know some people will like work their butts off and like not even take like a 10 minute break or anything or just like eat a little snack and then just keep on working like I, i've met a lot of cnas like that so cheers to you if you are one of those cnas i appreciate all your hard work but i would definitely say getting like like belvitas like they have like nutritious like steady energy for like four four hours i feel like these ones really help like they're really good and you do feel full they're whole grain as well or like some protein bars i have like 10 grams of protein you know good stuff that like will help you will help you stay energized and ready for the rest of your shift i think it'd be really helpful for you to also be a very successful cna um and that's it for today's video i love you guys so much adios mi gente also let me know you guys if you want any other types of videos so i can go ahead and make them